Okay. All right, everyone. So, hey there. Welcome to the third. Yeah, welcome to the third session of VIP live calls. I hope um, till now you have learned some new stuff. And uh, before we begin, um, until everybody joined the live call, if you have any question regarding marketing business, if you want to start. Uh, a new field on your career you can leave a comment I will take a look at it and in a couple of minutes we are going to start our next session right and uh, one thing let me tell you that today we are going to continue talking about the book one thing by Gary Keller in the previous session we talked uh, about it uh, well there are a lot of good information inside the book so I decided to put the other half into this session and on the next call if you remember we are going to talk about the book Persuasion by Robert Cialdini right so let me just quickly see if we have any comments here if not let's begin the live call let me also see the YouTube here Okay. Oh, sorry. Information. Okay. All right. By the way, if the sound quality or the video quality, if there is a problem, let me know in the comments as well. So, well, there are a lot of good stuff here, and I hope you had the time to go through the book and read at least a couple of chapters from the book because it's an amazing book. It can have a huge impact on your business, your life, and whatever you are doing, it will help you to do it better, right? So, let's begin. Anyway, so the first thing that uh, today we want to talk about is It is called time time blocking. Now the thing is that when you, uh, first of all, the goal of this live session today is to do more in less time, to increase our productivity, all right? So whatever we are going to talk about is uh, connected to that direction. Time blocking. Now the thing is that usually when you want to create a to-do list, right, today or tomorrow for example, starting from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm going to do this task. From 10 a.m. to, for example, 11 a.m., I'm going to do this task. I'm going to complete this task, all right? The problem here is that usually it won't happen. Usually you don't get the chance. The time is not working. You don't know that, for example, that one hour is enough or not. But uh, here, what the book is suggesting, what Gary Keller is suggesting, is to create a time block and protect it. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, you want to create time block. Um, for morning, you write down. For tomorrow morning, I'm going to work on this project. Okay, you don't need to say, right, I'm going to complete this task. Don't do that. I'm going to work on this topic. I'm going to uh, spend my time on this project, all right? Then we have midday, same way. Then we have um, evening. Then we have, what was the next one? Okay, before, Bed, right. I also missed one here that is after no. Okay. So this way you have to write down what you are going to do during each of these times. Okay. What are you going to do exactly in each of these times? Write it down. Then when you when it is clear that what you are going to do for example tomorrow in each of these times protect it. it i'm not saying that for example put all of them work stuff okay for example you can say in the evening i'm going 
I'm gonna spend my time with my family, right? But anyway, you have to mention what is the topic, what are you going to do, and then protect it. When, for example, it is tomorrow evening and you want to spend some time with your family, when something came up or maybe your friend calls or there is an email that you need to take a look, protect your time block, do the things that you mentioned, all right? So this is one of the things that will help you to stay ahead of the game. Um, beside that, let me check the comments if we, if we have any. All right, okay. So, you can both leave comments on YouTube, if you are watching from YouTube, or on my website as well. So, let's go for the next one. Also, you can take notes from this so you don't miss out, and it will take usually a couple of hours for me to update the, this lecture on the VIP Live called uh, Walt. So, the next thing, the next principle, principle is it is something that is called Parkinson's law, right? So, if you are a person that you are not very focused on your work and for example you are working, you spend 10 minutes on your phone, you spend 5 minutes on sending an email while you are working, you spend 15 minutes chatting with your colleague and so on. If you're a person like this, this rule applies to you. Now usually when you want to do something, you say, all right, I'm going to do, for example, this task and I think it's gonna take me two days, right? The Parkinson's law will tell you that whatever you are going to estimate for a task, you will need half of that time. For example, it is if you, uh, you think that a task is gonna take two days, what this law is saying, you can do it in one day as well. If you start focusing, removing the things that are distracting you. Now, as we go forward on this list that we are going to talk about today, um, you are gonna get better at this, removing the obstacles, the things that are slowing you down, the things that are, that are uh, distracting you and so on. Now, one of the things, and one thing, don't uh, think that if you uh, try to cut the time in half, the quality will decrease. If you are not focused, when you cut the time in half, the quality is still, uh, still it stays the same, all right? So, one of the things that will help you to do such thing is, what was it? Okay. Work bunker. It is interesting. Well, when you want to work, the environment, the tools, everything that you need must be ready. It must be prepared, okay? So what you have to do, you have to prepare, and write it down here. Prepare the location, the environment, whatever it is, where you want to do your work. Uh, well, we are making examples on work, but whatever it is, it can be something else in your life. But anyway, you have to prepare the location. For example, I knew that today at this time, 6 a.m. GMT, I'm going to have a live call with you guys, right? Well, what happened before this? I prepared the location, everything is prepared, okay? The lights are prepared, the camera is prepared, uh, the sound outside, maybe, uh, well, there are a lot of people working here, uh, they may, there may be some noises. I prepared all of these situation for us to have a good live call. So this is the location. The next thing are about the tools, right? Now, when I say tools, I don't exactly mean, for example, a marker, a board like this. I mean everything you need, meanwhile you're doing the task. It can be food as well, okay? Uh, you can waste a lot of time going out there, get food, come back. You can prepare it before even you start the task, okay? So before you get to your uh, work, the place that you are working, you can bring the food with yourself as well. For example, one of the things that my father does every day that he wants to go to the work, uh, my mother cook some lunch, give it to him, 
he go to the work and when it's lunch time he start eating it. I, I'm sure a lot of people are doing the same way but uh, it's one of the things that will help you to save time and be more focused on the task that you are doing, right? So let me see if we have anything here. All right. So the next thing that we are going to talk about here, um, let's go to the next page so we have enough space to write the stuff. While we're talking about this stuff, if you have any question, write it down. Um, this live call is not just me standing uh, here talking about some points, summarizing the book for you and uh, get to some points and close it go home, right? It's not for that. It's for us, you and I, to have interactions with each other. So write comments. If you have the same situations, if you have problems connected to what we are talking about, write them down, okay? The fact that we are here and talking about it will help you to learn more, to stay ahead of the game, to do your best to increase your productivity and the result that you want to receive in a shorter time, okay? So use the time that we have here, use the chance, the live call that we have here. Don't miss out on these opportunities because usually it won't happen so often. So, the next thing is stay stay accountable. Now, when you want to complete a task, meanwhile, you, a lot of things will hit your mind. All right, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it this way. Let's do it that way. Uh, can I skip it for now? Can I, for example, let's for now just watch this TV show. Let's for now just play this game. Let's just for now, okay, hang out with my friends. Oh, there is a discount at this, for example, mall, and let's go there. Or let's buy some stuff. Stay accountable to what you have decided to do, to what you have planned, right? Now here there are five ways. Um, you should come up with five ways to make yourself accountable. For example, let's say that I want to create a product. I want to create a course regard about marketing, right? So I need a timeline for that. How I can make myself accountable? So when I want to run away from it, I said, no, I, ha I, I have responsibilities. I have to do this, okay? I cannot escape it. Because let's be honest, all of us do that, right? One of the ways that I do it, I mention this online. That, hey, everybody, my uh, 18,000 followers or a couple of thousand students, I'm going to create a course regarding this topic for you and it's going to be ready until by uh, the end of the month, for example, right? This way, I am making myself accountable to the people, to my students. Now, for example, let's say my wife says that, all right, let's go on a trip, right? Or we plan a trip. We plan to do it after I finish the product, right? So I'm also telling her that I'm gonna complete this task, that, and after it, we can go on a trip, right? On a vacation. So this way I am making myself accountable to my wife as well. And every time that I want to run away, that I want to skip the work, I'm tired, let's do it later, let's, let's play a game maybe, let's uh, spend some time watching a movie. Every time that I want to do that, I remember that, hey, Puya, you are accountable regarding this task. You have to complete it because other people are counting on you to do that. So. What I want you to do, whatever your goal is, whatever your task is, come up with five ways um, that make you accountable, then mention it online. Go to Facebook, Instagram, whatever platform that you have, your friends and your family and your loved ones there. Go there, talk about it and say, all right, um, this is a task that I'm doing. It's about this, it's about that. And um, talk about it. When you say that, when you mention it to your 
uh, friends when you mention it online whenever you want to skip it you will push yourself not to do that right so um, let's check again if we have any messages here from students Right on YouTube as well. Okay, there are some. We will take a look at it again at the end of the live. Call. All right, so let's go for the next one, next part. All right. The next thing is very common between people, between you and I, between our friends, relatives. You are okay, not the victim even if you are remember this you are not the victim so don't act like a victim try to come up with solutions all the problems that happen in our lives it's just part of the way okay many things that can happen, that can many things can happen and uh, make us feel bad about it, create a lot of problems for us, and really make us a victim. But you shouldn't look at yourself as one, because the moment you start that, you cannot find the solution, okay? So stop acting like a victim. The moment you do that, you start to look for the solution. The moment that you look for the solution, everything gets easier. Last night I was reading a book, uh, the name was, it was an amazing book. I really loved it. Uh, I still didn't finish it, but soon I will. The name of the book was Obstacle is the Way. Now, the book says that, all right, this is your way. You wanna go from point A to point B, right? And all the way, there are a lot of obstacles, okay, that you want to go. When you get to these obstacles, don't afraid, don't get mad about it, don't get sad about it. It's, these obstacles are the way toward your goal. Now I'm super simplifying it. There were tons of other notes inside it, but the whole point, I said it because it is connected. The things that happen to you, in your life, whatever it is, it's part of the way. We have a course on social media marketing agency and I mentioned this a lot that, for example, you go out there, you talk with a client, potential client, they're not convinced, they don't want to sign contract with you, they don't want to sign the deal with you. So what will happen? You get sad, oh, I tried this, they didn't sign the contract, I'm so sad about it, I don't want to try again. This is part of the game. I said that a lot. You get no a lot along the way. There was another book, Go For No. It rewired your brain to expect receiving no. And the more no you receive, the more yes you will have, you will have the chance to receive. So it's more or less connected to each other, right? Again, think about your life, think about um, the goals that you have, the problems that you have that happen in your life, and what you have done about it. Did you play? Act, did you act like a victim and you sit down and try to blame others, or you really looked out there for a solution to fix it? So, there is a quote from the book that I want to read exactly from it. So. The one thing, what is the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? I'm going to repeat that again. What is the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will get, will be easier or unnecessary? Ask this question from yourself. What is that one thing, right? This one thing will be the goal that you will have. Now, uh, think about your career, okay? Think about your business. Let's talk about that. Let's focus on that because it's what we're talking about here mostly is focus on business stuff, right? Let's talk about your career, right? What is your 
one thing. Okay? What is the main goal here? Okay, where do you want to go during the next five years? We'll get to that in a second. That's interesting. What is the goal here? What do you want to do? For example, for me, I want to, my one thing is to uh, educate more people with less expenses for them, delivering higher quality of information to a huge amount of people with less expenses, right? This is my goal, this is my one thing. This is what I'm going to do tomorrow, this is what I'm going to do after a year, this is what I'm going to do 10 years from now, okay? This is my one thing right now, the thing that I decided to do. What is yours regarding your business, regarding what you can do, regarding your expertise and your skills, okay? Think about that. In the previous session, we talked about this one thing a little. Now we are going to focus more on it. For example, let's say, think about your career, what is your one thing, and let's say, what are you going to do to get to this one thing? Let's say during the next five years, right? Where do you want to be? What is your one thing? As an example, I will build my photography business in Los Angeles, for example. I will have at least $1 million revenue every single year by, for example, 2025. And I will be not the number one Yelp rated photographer. This is a one, good one thing. Okay, this is an example. Now think about yourself. Think about your own one thing. What it can be during the next five years, right? Where do you want to be? How much money do you want to make, right? Now again, this is about career. What's about your life, right? So let's go deeper in it. What is your one thing over the next, for example, one year, right? What is it? Think about that, write it down. Again, continue this. What is your one thing for the next one month? Well, these are connected to each other. What you can simplify it. All right, this month, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna do this task, okay? This project. What is your one thing during the next one week and one day? Tomorrow, what are you going to do that is connected to your one thing, right? Now, that was all about career. What about other stuff? Maybe your love life, maybe your health. Where do you want to be regarding health during the next five years? Do you want to have a good body or you want to be overweight or underweight maybe? Do you want to have a love in your life, a romantic life? Do you want to experience that during the next five years? Or you will still want to be in the situation that you are in right now? These are all the questions that you have to ask yourself, think about it, come up with the one thing about that, right? Spend time on it. Think about it. Let's go back again. Let's review what we have talked about here. First, we had the time blocking, right? The time blocking is important. Morning, midday, afternoon, evening, before bed. Think about it, what you're going to do. Then we have the Parkinson's law that says whatever you want to do, whatever you estimate, that task usually need half the time that you thought about it, right? Work bunker, prepare your location, bring everything that you need, food, tools, whatever. S keep yourself accountable, stay accountable to what you have said and mentioned in your list and what you have to do, right? You're not a victim, for, look for the solution, look for the ways that how you can solve these problems, usually, uh, when a problem, when something happened, there are at least three to five amazing ways to fix it. That's based on my experience, based on my life, okay? Every problem that happened in my life, when I look back at it, there were at least three to five amazing ways 
that I could use them to solve those problems and everything even get 10 times better. So it's the same for your life, I think. Think about that, come up with your one thing, and um, I hope you have prepared for the next week. At least you got the book, The Persuasion. It's an amazing book. Again, a lot of amazing stuff inside it. And so let me write it here. Next week we are going to talk about pre Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. The next week after that, I'm not sure. I'm going to surprise you with something amazing. I'm going to pick up a topic, not a book. Some strategies regarding marketing and business. And we are going to talk more about it in the next week. All right. So that was all for. Oops. That was all for this live call. Let me see if we have any question. If not, let's end the live call here and see each other on the next week. Right. All right. So how long we're live? This one was a little bit short, about 25, 30 minutes. All right. So. Write your question down for me. I do my best to answer them. During the past week, I was very busy. Uh, I did my best to answer all of your questions, but I was very busy. And um, as we go forward, I will open more time for have one-on-one -on -one chats, mentoring with you guys to help you to get where you want to go, right? So that was all for this live session. And I'm so happy to see you here. Leave your comments below, leave your questions below. I will take a look at them after a couple of hours and we'll talk more about them, right? So that was all. See you on the next week live call, which will be 6 a.m. Let me write it for some of you that are new here. 6 a.m. GMT, right? Next Tuesday, 6 a.m. GMT. See you soon.